Recording. Alrighty, hello there YouTube. This is my first trike. I've never ridden a trike. So I'm just in first gear. I don't have a heel shifter. And it's definitely different than pulling a regular bike. You know, you're used to leaning, I gotta steer it. So everybody's driving trikes. So I figure I'm an old guy, I'll check it out. So I had to go watch a 12 minute video before you, 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 you drive the trike. You can't just get on it. They just don't let you ride it. You gotta watch the video. And then on the differences riding a trike. And remember, I don't have a heel shifter on this thing. All my friends seem to run them pretty good. Uh, like I said, I've never rode one, so this is an interesting experience for me. I rode her, the road to Can Am, which steers differently. It has the two wheels in the front, but I don't really see there'd be much difference in basically doing this. I tend to want to lean my body, which is uh, not needed. Just got to push my arms and push the steering to the side. Seems to work. Never done enough to put my feet down because uh, I have three wheels. It has the 114 in it, so it's got some pick up and go. But they say like a trike, you stay pretty much in the center of the lane. That way you have space on either side to avoid things. If you tend to stay on right or left sides, you could uh, have issues, you know, avoid potholes, things like that. But other than that, not much different. Like I said, they're pretty nice. I went my Roguelide though. I don't want a, 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 a Batwing fairing trike. That's for sure. I laugh at these guys. I'm like, yeah, I ride this. <laughs> uh, I've been riding for a while. I'm good. But don't be overconfident because there's always something you can learn from somebody. It's never where you don't know everything. That's for sure. But giving me a, a tour guide, this you know, taking up the road here, where I could have told him where to go. Been here, you done this kind of thing. But it's pretty much just like a, a regular, you know, a bike with with the wheels in the back. You have all the same features, except for the reverse. Uh, this has that advanced uh, traction control and all that. It was a pain in the butt. Of course, like every every new bike, they're always a nightmare to get into neutral when they're new. And then uh, once you once you uh, get them broke in, they're okay. This thing only got I don't know how many miles on it. It's only got 380 miles on it, so it's it's going to be a while before it uh, get about a thousand miles, and you'll be able to find neutral pretty easy. It always seems that way. And all the other bikes I've had in clutches, when they're new, they're really a bit of a pain in the butt to get into neutral. But once you get them going, and once the, once you find that sweet spot with your bike, then usually, oh, oh, I dropped it out of out of gear. It's like first time I do those. They always do that. Yeah, now. said until you get used to them especially with a cable clutch I didn't have this much trouble with the hydraulic clutches at all but the, my other bike same thing I popped out a couple times and dropped it and installed it I don't know what it is with them them uh, cable clutches it's just not used to it and it's winter new it's I did the same thing 
I don't want to say about it other than <laughs> you ain't that like I said you're not that experienced you can't think that you can do it all anyways well this thing got some good pickup it runs good it's 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 just like the k and ammo it's like jerky it feels like when you're going down a road to me because uh, they're, they're not really um, I don't know how to explain it you're steering it so you can't corner like you do with the other bike I imagine I know my one buddy rides is pretty good so me eh. like I said if I had to yeah it is what it is running two wheels is another ball game like I said It will not start in, unless it's in neutral. That's the one thing it won't do. Now the other bike, you pull the clutch, it'll start. This one won't do it unless it's in neutral. Go figure. Well, that's a pretty nice ride. Like I said, it does feel jerky uh, on there. Uh, as smooth feeling as the regular bike is to me. goes right up into sixth gear I mean it really quick and the 114 pulls this just fine I was wondering how the 107 versus the 114 on the trikes I remember the older versions of the 88s and so forth everybody complained that the, the bike had no power for the trikes I got plenty of power on these I think the gearing's a little different also but it works fine Running the straightaways, it's just fine. I think a uh, Mustang seat, push it back, <clears throat> put some highway pegs on. Yeah, like I said, when I get older and can't hold the two wheels up, if I have knee issues, this would work. We're towing them trailers, maybe no time on the trailers whatsoever. Uh, be pretty simple. I wonder how wet weather it handles. I have to ask somebody else that rides a trike all the time. But hey, at least I get my own private uh, tour guide here. I don't have like a whole group with it. It's just me and him. That's it. You ride the trike, got one guy because they don't send you with everybody else apparently because, you know, not everybody rides a trike. Hey, at least they produce one. Uh, I'm interested to see if Indian ever does it. Now I have a friend who has his all, all torqued out and turned into a trike which is really nice and it really looks good and I mean he got a lot of money up in it that's for sure uh, it's not an easy and not a cheap well you know anything like this isn't cheap that's for sure but uh, it's an idea something he likes that's for sure but hey there it's a choice said if I get where I can't pull my bike up then this is another option she already wears a trike so with no big no deal watch them holes it smells like diesel somewhere Seem to get a little bit more wind on this too than what you do on a regular bike. I don't know. 
I yeah, just feel different on it. Hey, but it's it's nice ride. I mean, you get on some smooth, smooth road, it's nice. And the potholes and having a straight axle, that's a little sucky. But other than that. Maybe Harley will come out with a road glide special, or I'm sorry, a road glide trike. I mean, there's really much difference in the bikes except the fairings. All they gotta do is put one on there. It'd probably be something they come up with. Can't find too many road glides out there. That's pretty much it with the trike. I said there ain't much different as far as controls other than that reverse. This has the uh, link brake system. It has the uh, traction control. It's got that, uh, if you break down two center width services, it doesn't allow your rear brakes, the rear wheels to lock up. So it's got all the advantages to the ultras and uh, it's part of them, so. So you, you can't beat it. If you can't ride two, you can definitely ride three. I was also always wondering how it was <clears throat> riding at speed, because it, you know, you're used to leaning and like it, sh like it showed in the video, you know, your center of gravity forces you down, and you think like when you're in your turns, it kind of pushes you into your seat. These don't do that. So they have a nice little video you have to watch, like I said before take me they let you take it out you uh, know that's what I was like oh yeah well that's just like hurricane and when you when you make turns you kind of hug the steering the hug the tank or hang, hug the bike because when you push and pull your steering you're it's it's not leg leaning there's nothing you really do with it you just push down on the bars this thing you've got to push them you got to push them there's no uh uh, what do you call it, uh, leaning it at all. It's all about pushing the steering.
well, hey, he gets right up on the highway, gets him going. Like I said, no problem with the speed. It works pretty good. So I figured I'd see what it's like going on the highway. See how it feels. No problem with 70 mile an hour. push to steer it. I need a seat that pushes me back a little bit more. My wider seat would be nice. Uh, they go pretty good. I figured it'd be less stable where it'd feel different, but what am I, you know, you can't really sell something that like that. Uh, on a highway, you get used to the, the whole thing moving. Uh, where the bike, you just hit a pothole, it's just you, this the whole thing shakes. It's a pothole and stuff, the whole bike feels it. You don't, um, it feels different. It's just not the same as what you feel when you're on a, on a two wheel bike. Highway curves are not as bad as uh, secondary road curves because you got some really sharp ones. And you have really twist and turn those ones a lot more than with leading a bike. The old lady hasn't hit me on the back side of the head, so I must be doing okay. She's been sitting back there, she ain't said nothing or hit me or anything. So, well, her, her intercom system's broke anyway, so it don't do her that much good. But they're nice. Like I said, if you have the option of riding and you can't ride too, if you have issues, uh, these, are, these are a good option. But they aren't cheap. Harley trikes are up there. Uh, 39,000, 38,000 for new ones up to 42 or 45, I think. I think that one last year, the CBOs are like 50, 53. That's just uh, crazy. I just can't see that. Uh, I have a hard time with a regular CBO. I ride bikes way too much to spend all the money for those bikes. But the, the same thing goes with that when you trade them in, that value is still there. It's not like uh, other bikes. You know, you buy them and you add stuff to it. They don't. They don't count that stuff. So it doesn't count. But the CBO, everything that's on it counts, and it's part of the. We get the money back out of it. Even 10, 15 year old CBOs are pretty well, pretty good priced. That, there's an advantage to that. But. It is what it is, that's for sure. And the difference between the men and the boys, the price of the toys, they say? Yeah. The RPM runs a little higher on this, but, but you're pulling a, an axle on a two-wheel bike. It runs less RPM. This one's running a lot more RPM than my, uh, I remember my running before. And steering it is a little bit harder than leaning it, that's for sure. Definitely uh, a little different steering. You definitely want to pay attention to your speed signs when you're making uh, off ramps and so forth. You don't want to be uh, really going faster, I think, than what you should. You are riding three wheels, and it's like I said, it's a little more intense to steer it. The 
this is good going up this road because this this got a lot of twists and turns in it and there's sharp turns it's not uh, easy to do like I said on two wheels yeah, you just lean it into it this one you gotta crank them bars well, my buddy HDR said he'll be down here tomorrow to test ride that Pan American they got one here off the town they got one yep if you ain't got out and rode one get out and ride one soon I don't really I'm not really interested in it it's not uh, something I want to really run so I'm not gonna make an issue out of riding it today I got other things tomorrow to do We will deal with that later. Maybe at some point, maybe at the hog rally or something, I'll ride one. Give it a shot. Not today. Hey, the banquet. Which is fine. It could be shutting down for the day. What'd you think? A little jerky? Yes. It feels a lot jerkier, don't it? I held on for dear life. It doesn't feel like uh, back air. That's what Julie said about the K&M. She said it was really jerky.